very joined by Jay Moore, who is the host of the Interactive Achievement Awards on this fine, fine evening. Um, Jay. Hi, sweet. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. It's quite a mic. Yeah. It's quite relaxing. a disappointment. I thought we could do the interview in a seductive way, you know? Yes, it's, it's definitely, I, I have that, that, that tingle on my leg right now. It's not a tingle. You're right. Okay. Now, G4, great network. I'm, I'm glad it's coming to more and more cable providers. I now get it in my home, so I'm excited. Well, that's good. And more and more hotel rooms when I'm on the road. I, I like to watch the G4 television on so that's yes, when I'm lonely, I watch when I'm on the road as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I travel with my wife, so I actually do watch G4. Oh, well, that's cool. That, well, that, that's good to hear. Now, you've been doing... I know what you're watching. Sorry, go ahead. No, that's fine. You've been doing these awards for, is it like five years now? Uh, yeah, five years in a row I've been hosting the uh, DICE Awards here. And uh, it's, you know, it's really just because David Spade won't do it. That makes sense. Now, no, I assume you are a gamer. Yeah, I'm a huge... Uh, what? A, a, a gamer, a guy who plays the video games. Game? The, the yeah. stuff that you're yeah, no. out about. Just my head in your lap. I heard something <laughs> game, gamer. Yeah, I like to play a lot of Assassin's Creed One and Two. I like uh, my son has Nintendo DSi, and I wear out his game Kirby. When, he's, when he goes to bed, I, I play it. I also steal it when I fly and I go on the road. I steal the Nintendo DSi and I play it as a taxi. Leaving him just with Assassin's Creed One and Two. Yeah, he said to me he played. Uh, Call of Duty, and I was, I was very happy about that, that my seven-year-old is, knows what a suicide bomber is, that was nice. Well, unfortunately, it's probably not just your seven-year-old well, that's yeah. only been taught about that. So, when, when, when you put together your material for the evening, because you're a very funny man, it's a very funny award show, I mean, how much are you like, okay, I gotta go to games here, but you know, there's some funny stuff that isn't game-related over here. There's, there's uh, a couple of really great writers that, I really write only about 20% of what's happening in the monologue. The stuff in between is off the cuff and we have a good time. But there's a lot of very game specific jokes written by uh, really funny guys that you probably should be interviewing instead of me because they do all the hard work and I come up and I read the jokes and I just have to not make grammatical errors as I read the funny things they've done. So I've really got myself into a great situation where I walk on stage, I read someone else's jokes and walk out. It's kind of like EJ Leonard. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I'm just thinking, like, wow, what, what would it be like to have? I, this, this is the only time I get one is here, which is terrific, and they're really good, like where I don't even understand the joke because it's so inside her video game where I have to go, but I, I, have to, I want to make it clear that it's not that I, I don't get it because it's not funny, I don't get it because you know so much more about gaming than I do, and so I, I, I want to make sure that they know that they're way smarter than that. So, I mean, it's, it's almost like a learning process for you. You learn more about video games, of course, than just doing, you know, your, uh, yeah. your show here. In uh, late February and March, I know exponentially more <laughs> about video games than I do in November, December, and January. Now, ha have you ever done any voices for, vi for video games? Yeah, I did some uh, voices for Leisure Shoot Larry. I did the League Blitz. Um, I did Scar a voice on Scarface. I went in to do Pacino on Scarface and had, like, a word. I just, like, Pacino in my act. Right. But for some reason, Pacino as Scarface, I just sound like Ricky Ricardo. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, they, whoever they got was obviously tremendous. I think I'm thug number two. That's good. That's good. Hey, it's, it's better than thug number three. You know, that's, 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 that's really low level voice work right there. The trick is to be thugs one through six. Yeah. Just mix it up and get six different checks.